and Morning, the most news in the morning, period. With day 6 Eastern. Important news this morning for millions of people who take aspirin to lower their risk for heart disease. Our Dr. Sanjay Gupta, chief medical correspondent, is here with us this morning. And uh, what's this new study telling us? Well, it's interesting. First of all, you know, you have about 36% of the population takes aspirin. And the goal is to try and ward off heart disease or strokes. It gives you a little bit of blood thinning effect. But something started to emerge. Uh, despite the fact that people are on aspirin should have this protective benefit, there were certain segments of the population that were still getting heart attacks or still having strokes. And these researchers uh, from the British Medical Journal actually looked at 20 different studies and found after looking at 3,000 patients that there's something known as aspirin resistance. This has been talked about before, but this is the first study to really point out how prevalent this is, about, about a quarter of the people that are taking this. And what that translates to is that you have a four times higher chance of actually having a heart attack or stroke as opposed to someone who doesn't have this resistance. Uh, so that, that's very interesting. You're taking this, thinking it's protecting you, and about one out of four people uh, are getting no protection at all. Oh, so how how, how do you know if you're aspirin resistant before it's too late? And if somebody can discover that they're aspirin resistant, what do they do about it? Well, so, so what aspirin does in the body, basically, it, it sort of takes these things that are called platelets that cause blood clots and sort of inhibits them a little bit. So it makes them so they're less likely to stick together. That's a good thing because it's those clots that can be the real culprits. Somewhere in there, it, it doesn't seem to work. And exactly how to test for that resistance is a little bit controversial. I mean, there, there's a one sort of blood test, but it's not perfect. There's a urine test as well, but sometimes it doesn't give you enough information. So it's a little bit hard to know right now. That's something that researchers are working on right now to try and figure out how to basically come up with a better test for this. And, and is there anything else that people can do to try to lower their risk of heart heart attack if they are resistant to aspirin? Yeah, so, so I mean, there's two, two sort of avenues. One is, do you just give more aspirin? Is it more a dose-related phenomenon where if you give more aspirin, so does it like somehow overcome? Right. Yeah. Or do you go in a totally different direction and give another medication altogether, like Plavix, for example, or some other blood thinner? What the American Heart Association says right now, the standard recommendations, if you're at risk for heart disease, take an aspirin a day. That's what they're saying for men over the age of 45, women over the age of 65. If you've had chest pain or uncontrolled chest pain, you may want to add a second blood thinning medication as well. My guess, John, out of all this, we're probably going to have some updated recommendations, maybe even involving, as you pointed out, an aspirin resistance test of some sort. Interesting. Sanjay, thanks for that.